loss of motion this is the one of the topic from the first year so here the uh, this very 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 important topic loss of motions first uh, we'll discuss about the what uh, what are the loss so loss so if you take uh, suppose let us take a best example traffic okay if we take traffic there will be some rules will be according to we have to follow the traffic rules then we can say those things are traffic rules okay so similarly in the physics also we are having many many loss then um, newton loss will be there next uh, uh loss of motions will be there and then mo, uh, mo, uh, loss of motion in first law second law second law v is equal to u plus at and s is equal to ut plus of a square next v square minus u square is equal to a s these are the loss of motions okay next loss you understand loss means which is stated by the um, so so and so persons are is, is given by the then big authority so we have to follow everyone that only then we can say that is loss loss means we cannot change and we have to follow automatically then we can say that is the loss okay that loss we are discussing in the, in the motion okay what is the motion actually when we can say um, when we can say one object is motion when we can say one object is at rest so motion means the object is moving from one place to another place then we can say that is in the motion okay the object what should be motion the object should be motion first we have to consider object the object definitely it has some mass let us take this is the object okay definitely this object has some mass so what happened now it is i am thinking now it is at rest position rest position okay if i apply some force on this object what happened now simply it is moving from one place to another place then we, how long it will move means depend upon this is how much force i am applying on this object according to it will move so if i apply 10 newton force then it will move some extent if i apply 20 newton force it will move some more extent next if i apply 30 newton force then it will move according to uh, how much force i am applying on this object so then we can say that if when we apply external force then if it is moving from one place to another place then we can say this object in the motions okay if the object when the object is motions definitely the mo, um, the object also has the object definitely it has to follow some rules then we can say if which rules the uh, the which rules obeys this object then we can say those laws are we are calling the loss of motions so we are having the different different equations equations of loss first what is the first equation v is equal to u plus at next equal s is equal to uh, ut plus of at square next v square minus u square is equal to 2a 2as these are the loss of motions or loss of equations so what is the first equation v is equal to u plus at so how we can derive already we know that acceleration formula what is the acceleration change in velocity by formula change in velocity by time then we can say that is the acceleration so here change velocity from where to where it is changing in general we consider the two velocities one is initial velocity another one is final velocity so then we can say this is the initial velocity u final velocity v this is initial that's why this is final so always then what i said here acceleration change in velocity by time then we can say that is the acceleration so this is the ui this is the vf so let us take this is the zero this is the 50 if i say or else if i say this is 20 okay what is the distance between ui and vf then what will you do simply 50 minus 20 how much you will say this is the 30 okay so in a similar in the same manner we have to apply here also so what is the formula v is equal to vf minus next what is there ui by t so if you remove this uf and ui then what we can write a is equal to v minus u by t t then what happen at is equal to v minus u next what happen at is equal to sorry at plus u is equal to v okay like this we can derive the 
some laws are there but it is not required here only just why i tell why i told this point means we need initial velocity final velocity and time next acceleration next here one more formula is there see all of you this okay what happened this is the initial this is the final velocity this is the initial velocity this is the acceleration this is the displacement okay when this we can consider one body is moving uh, on the normal condition then we can use this equations suppose let us take suppose one stone is falling from uh, from it of the sun uh, or it is falling from on building what happened why it is coming to down so suppose to it, it can go up also why why it is coming to down means there are some force are acting okay that force we are going to discuss especially in this lessons so first why the stone is coming to down means some force are acting on that object